This Fort Worth pileup was the start of a winter freeze we will never forget. The deep freeze two years ago began with one of the deadliest crashes in Texas history. My goodness, just seeing that video again and this morning, we have a better idea of what may have contributed to the crash because of a report from the NTSB. That is the agency investigating this matter, and they say the area experienced 36 straight hours of below freezing temps. Now, the crash happened around 6 a.m. in the southbound lanes of I-35W in Fort Worth. That is near the Northside Drive exit. Now, the pileup involved 133 vehicles, and the crash stretched 1,100 feet. Six people died, 36 others were hurt. And right now, investigators are taking a look at the road treatment strategies in the hours and days leading up to that crash. A private company was responsible for the operation and maintenance of the tow lanes where it went down. Now, the posted speed limit in the tow lanes is 75 miles per hour. The main lane, 65. The report notes that just before this crash, a vehicle was going more than 100 miles per hour. The report also contains interviews with witnesses and first responders, many officers and firefighters. They even said that road was just too slick to even walk on, let alone drive on. Of course, one sergeant saying it was like being on an ice rink. The morning of February 9th, two days before that crash, the road was treated with an ice slicker brine solution. According to the report, that treatment can be made prior to a storm, as long as the storm does not start out with above freezing temps and rain, which will wash those chemicals away. Now that report also notes that the company in charge of treating the roads did make changes after the crash, like increasing its fleet of winter maintenance vehicles and salt storage. It also added weather sensors and new thermometers with GPS devices. Now this report is hundreds of pages long, but it does not give a probable cause just yet. That information, it will actually come out in a later report. Now you can find this full breakdown because I know I said a mouthful. You can find the full breakdown right now on our website, WFAA.com, Mark.